Now, French President Emmanuel Macron is hosting leading philanthropists from around the world to encourage more climate-related investment. The Climate Summit comes two years to the day of 195 nations adopted the Paris Agreement to stave off global warming. Among world leaders at the summit are American businessmen Bill Gates and Michael Bloomberg. Macron said U.S. President Trump's rejection of the Paris Climate Accord has only helped to boost momentum for it. The decision of President Trump just to leave the Paris Agreement was the very beginning of a new story. And I, I do believe that's our collective chance. It created a huge momentum. After this decision, we accelerated the ratification. We had more and more countries joining the club and ratifying the Paris Agreement. It was a sort of big shock for a lot of people saying, wow, is the very first country decides to leave the club, now it's at risk. Well, Macron has awarded uh, grants worth millions of dollars to bring American and other climate scientists to France. The program is meant to counter Trump's rejection of the agreement. A former U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry was also at the summit, says Trump's rejection of the climate deal does not represent most of America. We have 38 states that have renewable portfolio standard laws. Uh, we have 90 cities, the major cities in America, their mayors are all committed to meeting Paris. So 80% of the population of America is in those 38 states that are committed. And we're going to stay on track.